All right, this is going to be a quick one. We're going to take a look at uh, probably one of my favorite names uh, I've come up with or came across so far, this GR Mix a lot. So you can see what it is over here on the about on the right, the PogSag, Flex, GSC, encoder blocks for GNU Radio. Um, this is uh, actually pretty cool. Uh, it's going to let us use, uh, which I always wonder why I stuck it in there, uh, Netcat socks, well actually socks is used for a couple of things, but Netcat socks, Multimon NG, GQRX, and GNU Radio all at the same time to, um, I'm going to transmit with the HackRF receive with the RTL SDR. So bear with me here, uh, you'll have to pull down at least this GR mix a lot for now because it's not included in Dragon OS. And I've got a couple windows going here. I've kind of got out of the habit of the last uh, well, for a while now of putting, uh, or at least in the videos, the user source directory, but I just want to point out that's when I build the ISO and redistribute it, that's where you'll find all the GNU radio blocks, so just for this video, I guess, I'll just, you know, we'll use sudo a lot because we're in the user source directory, we'll get clone this repository, go ahead and change into Mixalot, do sudo again, make the build directory, change into build, do sudo cmake, do sudo make, build that, and then we'll do sudo make install, and then sudo ld config. All right, and then we'll change up a directory and look in the examples folder. And let's see, we're going to use GNU Radio Companion, and we're going to open up the one with the hackerapp.grc. And we're going to have to make a couple changes to it here in a second. But let's see what else we got to get set up. So let's see, we need to set up, uh, let's see, we'll use GQRX, and I had already opened this before and messed with some of the settings, so normally you'd open it up uh, for the RTL SDR, I've got the real text selected, I didn't change any of the, really the default settings here, okay, I did a mode of narrow FM and a filter width of about this 12.2K, seems to work. I open up tools, take a look at remote control settings. I just changed the port to 7355 and I'll show why here in a second. I mean you could have left it the default and then changed this other command. Um, allowed host, I clicked add and added a local host entry here and then just clicked OK. And then I make sure I hit UDP down here. Over under in input controls, I didn't change anything. I don't want hardware AGC on um, LNA is fine. So, all right, uh, let's see. So that should set up that. And we can even take a look. So let's see, um, frequency 158, 158.7. We'll take a look at something real here. 158.7. Seven. Turn up the audio a little bit. We'll leave it at sit here for a second while I'm taking a look at something. 158.7. Uh, usually there's uh, some pretty consistent messages, but so there's there's what there's a real message. Uh, but we didn't decode it because I didn't run this command over here, which I'm going to copy and paste in the uh, description. You can see where we're going to use uh, Netcat, we're going to use Socks, we got Multimon NG, and then we loaded the decoders for the baud rate 512, 1200, and 2400. So if I've got this running now, and we see another spike over there, most likely it'll get decoded. Alright, well, for the sake of this video, just 
just trust me it will decode if you got that set up that far but we're gonna make our own so let's see and obviously um, you, you need a, an area where this is not gonna escape uh, out um, and interfere with anything that's uh, for real so let's just go we'll open up the frequency here and I'll go to 931 let's see 931 megahertz.7 931.7 We'll tune this to 931. Nine thirty one dot seven. There's nothing there. Uh, let's see. So and we'll open up the parameter for message. And I'm just gonna put in hello world. We'll change the type to string. Hit apply, okay. And let me think. So this is set up with an Osmo Com Sync HackRF equals zero. HackRF is plugged in, and the RTL is over here, of course. So let's go ahead and try this out. Save it uh, to our desktop here and execute. There we go. So, GNU Radio uh, transmitted out of the HackRF. We've got uh, Netcat, uh, Sox, Multimon NG, Goan, and then of course the GQRX is what's allowing us to tune to the frequency, UDP, and then it all works together. And there you go. So, you can see what other demodulators are available in Multimon NG. But uh, I figure, you know, these tools are in there, so might as well combine them all and um, show how they can all work together. All right, I'll be kind of messing with this a little more, and then I'll probably just include all this uh, eventually in the next release to Dragon OS. Thank you.